Now we have what's called the intrusive R. The intrusive R. Sometimes native speakers, native speakers, native speakers, may join words together with an R sound. An R sound. R sound. Even if there is no letter R in the spelling, that is called an intrusive R. Okay, so if we have a word ending in an R, and we have the next word beginning in a vowel, we do it. But we can also do it even if we don't have an R. Mm -hmm. So, China and India. China and India. And I put in an R. China and India. China and India. Bavaria or Berlin. Bavaria or Berlin. Is no. it very popular, normal to do this? Mm, yeah, very normal. Bavaria or Berlin. Bavaria or Berlin. My idea of a joke. My idea of a joke. No, you're cutting. My idea of a joke. My idea of a joke. Idea of. Idea of. No, you're cutting. Idea of. Idea of. Idea of. Idea of. Idea of. Idea of. Idea of a joke. Idea of a joke. This can this can occur 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 when a swa uh -huh, appears at the end of a word that does not end that does not end in the letter R, followed by a word that begins with a vowel sound. Okay. The old ending schwa, China, Bavaria, America, America or Germany? Mm -hmm. America or Germany? Mm -hmm. America and Germany. Mm -hmm. huh? This can occur when a schwa uh, appears at the end of a word that does not end in the letter R, followed by a word. Followed by? Followed by a word. That began with a vowel sound. Sound perhaps posher or older fashion. Ah, you got it here. Look. Yeah. Posher or older. Posher yeah. or older fashioned. Look, because you've got. Yeah. End in R. Mm -hmm. Next word begins with a vowel. Posher or older fashioned. Posher and older fashion. Speakers will argue. That's no comma there. Posher or older fashioned speakers. Personal or other fashion speakers will argue that it's not correct to join words in spoken English in this way. I personally think it's. Personally. Per personally. No. Elision. Personally. Personally. That's it. Personally think, think it's fine and indeed can be perfectly normal middle class English. Listen out, listen out for its. For it. For it. Here's another one. Look, here's another R going into the next word. For Listen it. out for it. Yeah, for it. As you will hear it. Okay. Then I have a note on rhotic and non-rhotic English. I'm basically saying rhotic means that you sound the R all the time. Okay. Non-rhotic means you don't. Mm -hmm. Basic normal English means you don't. But there will be some regional people who do, okay? Maybe like in Ireland or something, in America they do, in most places. So some people will always make the R sound, okay? Mm -hmm. But you need to think, I'm not making the R sound because I'm Irish. I'm making the R sound because I'm Spanish. And Spanish, is, Spanish accent is not an English language accent, and we have millions of people coming from millions of places all over the world, like Sri Lanka or Pakistan or whatever, who have funny accents, and we want to try and sound the most intelligible possible. And if you do things like this and say, China or Japan, you know, listen out for it, and yet you're moving one word into the other, you'll sound so much easier to understand, sound more English, and we'll be able to, you know, give you a job better. That's what I think. Uh, mm -hmm. So, when do you use, when does you sound the R? When you speak after a vowel or before a vowel? Hang on a second. You sound the R when? 
when it's a vowel. Now, before a vowel sound or before a combined vowel sound? Yes. In that word or joined to the next word? When do you not sound the R? When it's with a consonant. Before a consonant or? At the end of the word. Unless you're joining it to the next word. Mm -hmm. So re repeat what you just told me. We use vowel when we use the R when we pronounce it when it's before a, or after a vowel. No, it's, to forget the after, it's before a vowel before or a vowel, vowel sound. A vowel sound or jumping words. With the vowel sound on the next word. Mm -hmm. And when do we not use the R sound? At the end of the word, um, when it's uh, a consonant. Before a consonant. So I will send you this after the class okay. and you can study. Okay.